Hey folks, welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we, we are at uh, the Tall Ship Festival, uh, and there's nine wonderful ships behind us. And if you ever get a chance to take the tour, uh, by the way, we're at Lake Memorial Park in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, there's several stops along the way, along the Great Lakes, uh, for the Tall Ships Festival, but nine gorgeous ships along the way. And we'll talk a little bit about those, but it, it's gonna be more about Admiral Merrill. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, and Private Mad Dog. He has got very private. So, so this Merrill, guy's very private. Merrill's in charge here today. And oh, one, all right. And one of the things we're going to do Give me is, $50. <laughs> one of the things we're going to do is take wonderful uh, brew pub pizzas, yes. turn them into this from the frozen stage uh, into a nice, gorgeous pizza. If you've never done pizzas on the grill, that's mainly, mainly what the show is going to be about. We're going to show some great things like switching over here. I'm going to slide one on right All now. Right, sounds good. And I want you to notice the smoke bellowing over here. We'll talk about that in a minute or two. But we're going to do a nice smoked pizza on there, even though it's a gas grill. We'll show you how to do that. Well, you know what's amazing? Of all the traveling that we do all around North America, people are always amazed that I'm doing pizzas on the grill. And you're going to find out later on in this show how simply it is to do on the grill. If Merrill can do it, anybody hey, can do it. Hey, trust me, and I could do it. That's right, exactly I think right. I could do it pretty good, too. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, we, we got to get started. Do we really? Yeah, yeah we do. Okay. Yeah, and so, one of the things, <laughs> Oh gosh, let's just let's just take a little break. We'll come back and show do some wonderful pizzas on the Boy, grill. Okay. But you know what? First, before we take a break, I think I think I got a couple presents for you along the do way. You? First of all, I got you a wonderful little T-shirt. Oh, Because thank we're doing you. some brew pub pizzas. This is your T-shirt. You don't have I to wear it today. Probably. It's pretty hard. And I got you a neat little brew pub hat. Okay. So brew pub t-shirt, brew pub hat. How does he look, ladies and gentlemen? You know, I think I could get in the pizza delivery business, <laughs> even though they don't deliver. What do you think? Yeah, and I got you one more uh, nice little gift. And and when you're doing pizzas on the grill, yeah. the foolproof way, and we'll talk about it. All right. But I got you, I got you this gift, and we'll open it up in the start of the next segment. Really, what's in there? We'll be right me? back with more of Mad Dog and Merrill's mm. Midwest Grilling, and find out what's in this little box. I'm going to become a pizza man. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, All Natural Golden Plump Chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin Raised, It's Golden Good, Cherry Delight, a Door County Original, Renard's Cheese of Door County, Get Your Squeak On, The Oneida Nation and the New Oneida Market, Crisp Kraut, the world's finest sauerkraut, proudly produced in Wisconsin for over a century. And by UW Provision, The Meat People, and so much more. Hey folks, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. You know, I almost forgot, I was gonna, give you, more, I was gonna give you some more gifts. Boy, I can't believe all these gifts <laughs> I've gotten today, for God's well, sake. Remember, you're It's not my birthday, what did I do wrong? You're the admiral. Yeah, okay, and, and, what do you want? And I, I'm just the lonely private. <laughs> I'm the guy that does the, the swabs the decks. Yeah. Well, you're not doing a very good job. Even at home, he doesn't do a very good job either. Now, Merrill, if you don't know, is the one on the port side. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, ba -ba. You're on the well, port. Well, bring in soupy sales, ladies and gentlemen. Bring him in. Bring him in. You're on the port side. <laughs> Been for years, matter yeah, of fact. Exactly right. Even I was a little port. <laughs> and my ship never came in yep. either. His okay. mom used to call him a porthole. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> sometimes I'd sit on it, and sometimes I'd look out on it, too. <laughs> what you got? Is that a collection plate? <laughs> no. Okay. You know, that's a nice pizza stove. It is. If you folks, one of the accessories you can buy somebody or for yourself right. is a pizza stone. It, 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 you know, pizzas aren't hard to do on the grill. No. No, they're not. We do. Talk a little bit about the pro fire with it, with more than three burners or three burners or yeah, more. Yeah, anything if you're using any, something like that, we use the pro fire, anything with even three burners or more. What you'd want to do is you could actually even grill the pizza direct if you'd like to on a nice medium heat about 425, 450 degrees. But usually if I have three or more burners. Indirect. Indirect method of grilling, I'll set it up for about 450 degrees. Place the frozen pizza right on top of the uh, pizza stone and place it on the grill. But preheat the pizza stone or first. Or even without a pizza stone. Right, you, you could do that. Profile. It doesn't make any difference. But people, I cannot believe how many people, I mentioned this at the beginning of the segment, going, I can't believe you did this pizza on the grill. They're absolutely fantastic because it works like a convection oven. It's like Mad Dog. It has all this hot air that keeps on circulating and circulating. It needs to get out. It needs to release itself. But it's staying inside that grill. That's why you get a nice grilled pizza. There's a name of a deck for that. 
There's a, uh, here's what we're gonna do. You're absolutely right. Now they, right. Now, thank and, you. And then on our, on our MHP grill that we yeah. use a lot, it has a two burner system. So we'd put the pizza on one side, the heat source is on the other. Gotcha. No direct heat underneath the pizza. But Merrill's absolutely right. Pizzas on the grill are fantastic to do. Now we're doing the, the pellet grill back here. Right, exactly. We have, we have the pellet pro over here, and Merrill fired that baby up, and you've got it up to a nice, uh, pleasant. 425. 425. I yep. It's hard to see in the sunlight right. here. Merrill put the uh, pizza directly on the grates I of the mean, grill. I mean, I could go to your house and say of this pizza for $10. Excuse me. You know, it'd be no problem at all. But I don't know if you'd open the door if I was knocking on your door, but. Uh, Look at that baby. Now that, that that's, that's just fantastic. done on, on a beautiful pellet grill. So it has the nice smoke flavor. And for the folks who don't know, real quick on pellet grills, uh, it actually has a heat box down below, a heat system down below, a fire pot. You feed the source, which is the pellets, over here in this bin here. Simply push a button or two, fire it up to the temperature, to the degrees of temperatures you would like digitally, and just let it go and let it preheat right. a tad bit. And that's how Merrill did it on the Pellet Pro grill here with the pellet grills. But let's talk a little bit about pizzas in general. Sure. I got a list. Honest to goodness, I got a list over there. I went out and I bought this pizza right oh, here. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that a gorgeous pizza? Oh, just gorgeous. But you know what the problem is? I got a list about eight eight ingredients is long I got to buy to put on top of this pizza to make it taste anywhere exactly. near decent. I mean, exactly. that truthfully is a pizza directly from the freezer department. Or you can go to our beautiful friends at Lots, at uh, beautiful Brew Pub Pizza. Right. And the brew pub pizzas have the lots of matzah. They do. They have the, the four meats. Uh, they have the sausage. They have the pepperoni. They have the sausage and mushroom. They have the cheese. They have a bacon cheeseburger. They've got sausage and pepper separated, pot, sausage and pepper together. They've got a beautiful supreme, which is excellent to do that on the grill. That matches me. You know, the that's why, because I am the supreme. That's all there is to it, you know. But they're great. It's a very good pizza. Look at the amount of cheese even on this one. I know. It's a lot of matzo. Compared to this one over here. Yeah, it's it really is amazing. delicious. So we've Absolutely got some other amazing. ones to cook with all the toppings on. This is just a nice little cheese pizza by our good friends at Brew, Brew Pub. Pub. And you can go online at uh, on Brew Pub and you can find a store locator and find some great uh, 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 places you can find the Brew Pub pizzas. Pizza stones. They're ceramic, people use them in the house, but all you simply do is slide this on any grill, gas, charcoal, pellet grill, anything you want, fire it up to about 400 degrees, 425 right. degrees, you preheat the pizza stone also, and then you simply slip the pizza right on top, Yep. put and, the hood down. Yep, and can I add something on this sure. too? Sure. I have mentioned this before about the perfect gift, and we should be selling pizza stones, by the way, because that is something when you're wondering, what do you gotta get your favorite brother or sister that you can't buy anything? Buy them a pizza stone for guys' sake. So you're gonna like it. They'll go, does it really work? It works, trust me. No problem at all. Ooh, Here's another gift for you. I know, have a, have a nice sun drop. Oh, thank you, I got sir. another nice Do gift Do you really? For you. Yep. You're a good man. And whenever, whenever you're doing any cooking, whether it's tailgate time, we've got the uh, beautiful sun drop. And sun drop soda is fantastic. Mm. It's locally bottled. The wonderful and stuff. And you got me a diet one too. It was a, You're it, a good it, man. It was the talk at the at the sauna the other day. Is back from the service when you got out of the service in the fifties. It was the the soda of choice. Oh really? Yeah, they'd go to Mansky's Tavern. They'd go to to uh, uh, Ike's or something like that in New London, uh, Wisconsin, where we're from. Yeah. And, and they'd pick up a sun drop. What is? I'll take a sun drop, please. Here's here's some great good. cutters. All right. Uh, uh, these are fantastic to use. Uh, Brew Pub has a nice little pizza cutter. These are great. You simply have little circular cutters for that. You can do the round circular ones if you want to. So there's different cutters. I've got the smoke box. We're going to talk a little bit over okay. here. You know, Admiral, I always wanted to be a sailor. Did you really? I, I wanted to see the oceans. I wanted to see the seas, the ports, the harbors. I wanted to sure. meet people all over the world. Yeah. I wanted to go to the west coast of, of the United States, up into really? Alaska. Okay. I wanted to go to the eastern Russia. Really? But you know what? I'm getting old, and it's just too late. I just couldn't do it. I just, well, I just can't do it. You know, you, you just didn't get your your bearings straight. My bearings straight. Your bearings Alaska straight. And Russia. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, the pizzas. We got more pizzas cooking yes. away. But we're gonna get inspired. We, we are. We are. We are. We are. We're gonna be. We're gonna Stop. be. Stop. I mean, keep talking. We'll keep going. I got something when you're in there. I don't want you to know. It's a pizza crust. There I'm saving that for later had on. A, had a burnt crusty nose, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you know, we are at uh, Tall Ships Fest, yes. and we're in uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, if we didn't say that. And it's a nice tour of the Great Lakes, uh, great festivals. If you ever get a chance, beautiful Tall Ships. 
Uh, they're built throughout, you know, in the early 1900s, 18, and, 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 but the idea is in World War II is what I'm trying to say. World War II, yeah. Merrill's got this wonderful vest on, and it's a personal flotation device. And you know what they called it in World War II, a personal flotation device? Uh, PFD. They, ca they called it a May West. A May West? Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! Because boy, could those bosoms float. <laughs> I'd float from up here. So in World War II, they called personal flotation devices uh, May West. And, and that's just one little tidbit that I know. Uh, we're going to do some great, we're going to be inspired. Oh, let me take this oh, off. It just released itself back here. Did you hear that? <laughs> Officer Rich, come here quick. Officer Rich, real fast. There you go. Oh, look Officer Rich, from, look at that. from the U.S. Coast Guard. There. Coast Guard Auxiliary. Coast Guard Auxiliary. Right, thank thank you. you, Officer Rich. There. Is she it? saved okay, me, ladies and gentlemen. Stage. <laughs> she saved me. We're going to be inspired because it's Pork Be Inspired. If you remember a yes. great website, Pork Be Inspired, it's actually. Oh, this way, I got to get this straight. I got to get this straight. It, it's a. Uh, it's it's it's. Where's your pork? Right there. It's pork spoon and knife. Pork spoon and knife? Yep, pork instead of fork. Ah, gotcha. So Don't if you go to the up. website porkbeinspired.com, you can learn some wonderful great tricks about Wisconsin pork. And it's actually the Wisconsin pork producers, and they help represent the, the Wisconsin, the state of Wisconsin, and other states in the pork industry. Sure, sure. Uh, and, and, and we're gonna use some wonderful S. Rosen buns. I've got some pulled pork here. So it's Wisconsin pork that I made into pulled pork with some great barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna do some wonderful open, open face sandwiches. Now in 1909, Sam Rosen in Chi-Town. The big city? The big city of Chi-Town, Chicago. Yep. Started making old fashioned breads and they've been doing it for over a hundred years now. And it's still a nice family owned business. Steve Rosen uh, actually uh, is, is one of the executives there. So we're gonna take some onion, the nice mm, onion buns of S. Rosen's. We could have used their nice beautiful wheat, their whole wheat buns. They make the best rye in the world, the best mm. party rye, old fashioned rye. Uh, you know that Hawaiian, sweet Hawaiian yep, bread? Yep, Dang, yep. that stuff is good. The rye though is the number one. The, you gotta go for a good rye. And the party ryes are delicious. And I'm just simply gonna take some wonderful pork that I made into a pulled pork. The bees are extra. Yep. We're gonna put those on top. I'm gonna take and put those, we got these on the pellet grill over sure. here. And I'm just gonna set those kind of indirect heat. I don't want too much of a heat underneath them. Some good old fashioned Ooh. Wisconsin pork, Wisconsin cheese, and just kind of cook them until desired doneness. Uh, and they turn out just absolutely delicious. Those are great open face sandwiches. And I got a little trick to show in a minute, but oh, I'll yeah? let you get it going. Is it a magic trick? You're gonna pull a rabbit out of a grill? I'm gonna, <laughs> yes. Are you really? No. No, you're not, you're no. not. Hey, you know what I got going over here? I'm gonna bring one over here. I'm doing some pork chops back oh, here. Oh man, those look All delicious. Right. Pork chops, very good. I love doing pork chops on the grill. Oh. So many different ways that you can prepare pork chops. Number one, the first thing I want to tell you about is you don't want to overcook the pork chops. Number one, they got the uh, the, the, the portables are right over there. There so. you go. There. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, but the big thing is people have a tendency to overcook pork. They really do. All right. Pork is easily done at 145 degrees. So what I'm going to do actually with this pork that I took off the grill, I'm going to go ahead and vent that with some aluminum foil. Cover that up. Let it sit for two or three minutes. Yep. I know, I know folks, it's hard for me when I'm looking at a hunk of meat and I want to eat it. I'm supposed to wait three minutes. A guy my size is supposed to wait three minutes to go into that hunk of meat. It's hard, but you can do it. 145 degrees, let it rest for about three minutes. And use a digital thermometer seems to work the right. Best. It does. It does. Now another thing. Let me put that back on there. Things. Yeah, go ahead. Go you ahead. Can make there. a nice little glaze. Yeah, I will. Uh, one thing that I've done several ways that you could do this. This pork earlier, all what I did was just to mm. use a little bit of olive oil. I rubbed that with olive oil. I used a little bit of our grandma hazel seasoning, and actually I stirred those about a couple minutes on each side. Turned down the heat. Went about five to six minutes on each side. You didn't wait, oh, okay. I was gonna get in your case because I thought you didn't wait three minutes. That you could go ahead and eat. I waited long enough for that. There you go. But you wanna cut into that pork chop where the juices are clear. So you can use olive oil if you like. And some of the pork, I'll go ahead and use a marination. Our Italian harvest is a nice marinade that you can. Marinate it for about two to three mm. hours. But for a glaze, and I don't think I really get into the whole thing of making the glaze itself, but you could go ahead and take a cast iron skillet. Yep. Put a little bit of butter in there. If you want for any type of flavoring, obviously add a little bit of garlic if you'd like. Uh, maple syrup is very good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, or you can even use the cherry syrup. But you want to brush that on the last two or three minutes. 
If you put that on earlier, you're going to start to see it burn and everything. So you want to do it the last two or three minutes. But remember, pork's done at one, four, five, 145 degrees. And, you and can, don't you forget and that. And you can learn there. that at porkbeinspired.com. You can also join, uh, uh, they have a great blog. Right. You can blog recipes. You can join them on Facebook. You get the juicy news recipes ah. of the week, and, of the, of, and it's a great time. But here's a little trick. Okay. This is my favorite when cooking with pork. I love onions. I know you do. I love sweet onions. So you yes. take a nice whole onion, and all you simply do is, is toss that baby directly Good on the grates to the grill, nice heat underneath it. And I got a few examples all here. Right. These I got are some great. charred ones, I got some not so charred ones. And all you do is put them right directly on the grates to the grill. You grab a knife, and all you simply do, now these go on the grill for, for uh, till desired doneness, till they're nice and soft. But watch this, watch this, watch this. Cameraman, cameraman. There Rod, we are, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. For one time instead of giving me minutes. Look at that. That is the sweetest gosh darn onion and hottest Isn't you've ever hot? had. You know, you take stuff off the grill, it's hot. Beware and all you do is slice, Look at pop, that. and slice again. I mean, it is fantastic. Here, here, watch this. Look at I know. This is my favorite. The one they're overly done like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the flavor, the flavor. And you could eat them just like, oh. Oh, they're going to be hot. Oh, guys, you know what? They are hot. I know I'm on television. I'll just set that right down there for now, OK? <laughs> hey, we're, we're here at, uh, at Tall Ship Fest uh, in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's a great festival. Take advantage of it if it comes to your area, that's for sure. We'll be right back, and we're going to do some uh, great toppings for pizza. You got it, sir. I'm ready. Hot pizza toppings day. just like this. Oh, yeah, that would be good on there, wouldn't it? Ooh, Ooh Andy. Yeah, we'll like be right that. back with more of Mad Dog and Merrill's oh, Midwest Grill in just a oh. moment. Hey folks, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We're doing a little brew pub pizzas, and you can find that at all your local grocery stores. There are lots of matzah, and that's for sure, with several different flavors. And they're great flavors, but sometimes you want a little heat. So I've yes. got some chili pods, and I'm going to place some chili pods on a nice little cutting board here. And then this is my favorite. I'm just going to do a little crushed pepper action over here uh -huh. and crush some peppers up. And while you, Meryl, I'm crushing these up and I'm adding them to <laughs> no, my pizza. No, I want to see you crush them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hear you. All the right. The pods aren't crushing like they normally do. Harry, you want to use my knife? There you go, sir. All right. <laughs> hey, you got the seeds. You got the seeds. Good job. Good job. You can actually do a, uh, a sauce that you can have it to use, actually use for breadsticks if you wanted to, or put it on the top of the pizza. Very simple. You just use a little bit of pizza sauce, oh. pour that in there. And then also you need a little bit of tomato paste. That will thicken that up quite a bit. Now, if you wanted to, you can do this on the stove, but I just mix this up because it'll get plenty of thick. A little parsley in here also. Fresh parsley will Elvis make a big Elvis is here. Elvis is here. Then I'm going to use a little bit of oregano. You want to use the dried oregano and then the fresh oregano because it'll really bring out the flavor in that. So I'm going to go ahead and place that on there. Nice and dry. And then I'm going to spice this up with just a little bit of some garlic. Now if you wanted to at home, you can go ahead and use some uh, hot sauce if you like. Want some peppers in there? Yeah, throw some peppers in there. That'd oh, heck, good. I did heck, this yeah, for some you're reason. you're a good man. Stir that I'm up. Serve this pizza to these kids over here in just a minute, so we'll I can't play hot peppers there. on there. No, we'll see I was going to joke and do that, but I ain't going to do that no, to those nice kids over there. But look at that. It's so easy to do. You don't have to buy it in a jar or anything. Here's and the some flavor. More. I like that. I like that with the hot. I'm glad this worked out. You did very good. How'd you know how to do this, sir? So, so far amazing. today, we've done some uh, beautiful pizzas on the grill. We talked about pizza stones on the grill. If you don't have a pizza stone, I'll grab oh. one for the closing over here. But we got mm. some wonderful pizza stones back here. I actually used a smoke box, and we put some pellets in there, or you can do wood chips in the smoke box. Right, exactly. Do some smoked pizzas on the grill. Uh, the pizza cutters, you know, gosh darn, these pizza cutters right here are, They're like, great. are like the cat's meow. I mean, you, you, you get a nice crispy pizza from the pizza stone. Oh, well, that guy's been working out. Look at that, uh, man. Man, I tell you. Got it. Doing I'm just good. thankful for the pizza stone. That's how crispy they are. It is. So we got a nice little pizza stone. Cut that baby up. This is the four cheese pizza, or four, four meat uh, right. pizza. Four meat pizza by Brew Pub Pizzas. And it's absolutely delicious. Comes now remember we talked about using the pizza stone if you like to. Yep. If you want, you can use a little bit of uh, cornmeal on the bottom of the crust. It'll crisp it up a little bit. Absolutely. It takes about the same amount of time as it does in your oven. Try it on the grill, you'll really be surprised. We'll be right back to finish this baby up and taste this nice pizza. It's going to be hot, so we're going to let it sit for a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we got nine tall ships behind us. 
Look at all those gorgeous beautiful. masks. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, some wonderful grills, great pizzas on the grill. We learned, if, truthfully, if you don't have a pizza stone, it's probably the number one accessory you can buy as a gift for yourself or for somebody the next time you do it because pizzas on the grill are fantastic to do. MadDogAndMeryl.com. Come and check us out on Facebook. We do appreciate it. Happy grilling, ladies and gentlemen. Happy grilling. Take care, folks. Time to dig into this pizza. Oh, hey, oh, oh. Fire up there.